Our heart beats an average of about 60 to 80 times per minute to pump blood around our body, and it does this for our whole life. All the blood in our body passes through the heart. Here we'll follow two small samples of blood as they make their entire journey through the heart. Remember, there is a lot of other blood going through with our samples, but focusing on just these two samples will make it easier for us to follow. One sample of deoxygenated blood arrives from the upper body and moves into the superior vena cava. And our other sample arrives from the lower body and goes into the inferior vena cava. These samples travel through the vena cavas into the right atrium. When the right atrium is filled, the tricuspid valve opens and our samples move into the right ventricle. As the right ventricle fills up, the tricuspid valve closes. And the muscles around the right ventricle contract, pushing our samples into the pulmonary artery. The samples travel through the pulmonary arteries and make their way to the lungs. The pulmonary arteries are the only arteries in which deoxygenated or blue blood travels. The pulmonary valve closes to prevent blood from flowing back into the right ventricle. In the lungs, our blood samples pick up oxygen, so now they are oxygenated blood, which we have colored red. Our samples of oxygenated blood from the lungs enter the heart through the pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins are the only veins which carry oxygenated or red blood. Our samples travel through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. The mitral valve opens and our samples are pushed into the left ventricle. When the left ventricle is filled, the mitral valve closes. The strong muscles around the left ventricle contract, forcing our samples into the aorta. Our samples now travel through the aorta and out of the heart. The strong muscles of the left ventricle are able to push blood through all the arteries of the body. The aortic valve closes to prevent blood from flowing back into the left ventricle. The blood delivers life-giving oxygen to every cell of the body. The deoxygenated blood comes through the veins back to the heart, where the cycle repeats itself over and over again. This diagram labels all the chambers, blood vessels and valves found in the heart. The arrows show how the blood flows. Study this diagram carefully and try to visualize the stages of blood flow through the heart shown in this video.